today, 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 we back here with another car review, and y'all take a look at what we doing right here. Thirty-seven, y'all. Sparkle in the paint, in the in the wrap, y'all. Mint condition, bro. Wheels, wheels on point, y'all. Look, y'all. Chrome, chrome handles, everything. Oh nine, nah, y'all. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, look, bro. Let me ask you, bro. What's up? What's up? These are nineteen by eleven. Okay. Those are nineteen by ten and a half. Nineteen by ten and a half. All right. So, bro, what made you go with this color, though? Like, what, what's this color called? This is glitter violet diamond. Glitter, violet, diamond. Okay. And what made what made you want to go with this color? Like this is my grandma. Her favorite color is purple. Okay. And so I used to have a lavender, and yeah. um, I did the wrap job, and it wasn't like super great. Yeah. So I had my friend do it. He works at a wrap shop, uh -huh. and I went with this color so that way, like the wrap looks good and the color looks good. So does the sparkle already come in the in the wrap, or is that something that you added yourself? Nah, it comes in the wrap. Okay. Okay. Well, I, well, I like that. I like that. So look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take you down the road, ask you a few questions about the car scene. Give, you're gonna give us some information about your car, okay? And then, y'all, you know, we're gonna get them some rollers, all right? And with that being said, like that, if y'all are new to the channel, y'all please make sure y'all subscribe. And let's get right into this video. Having a G37, okay, what would you say would be the best and the worst thing that you like about the car? The best thing, I love the interior. I love uh -huh. how like modern it is. Yeah. For like an older car, it's like like it comes with Bluetooth, it comes yeah. with maps, it comes with like everything you need. I got seat heaters. Yeah, I love the insides. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, you bouncy though. Yeah, I know. Bouncy. You said 36k? Yeah, switch on 60s, so he's gonna get a lot okay. bouncier. Alright, well hey look, so I'm go ahead and I, too. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and start you off by telling you I got some easy questions, which will be more about your car, and I got the controversial ones that will be more about the car scene, okay? Um, so first one, we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off with the controversial one with being, there's a new thing going on as far as wheels and coils are not a bill, okay? How you feel about that phrase in, in the car, in today's car scene? You gonna make that look, yeah. Um, I feel like it depends, like, Wheels and coils, I wouldn't really call it like a full build. Yeah. But like it's a start. Like you can say like I'm, you know, building my car. And yeah. All you got is wheels and coils. But like if somebody's like, you know, like oh, I, my car's a show car and it's just some wheels and some coils. Yeah. about the phrase respect all builds in, in in the car scene um i feel like that's a touchy subject yeah like, uh like you should respect all builds like yeah. if it's a build yeah but like you know some you got those like certain cars that are like it's just like some stickers and then some wheels with stretch yeah. tires but it's still stock height yeah so it's like it's like respect all builds but to a point yeah you know? to a certain extent yeah okay um so well, if you were to sell, which you probably wouldn't, you, if you were to sell this car, well, what personal price tag would you put on it that that you would that you would, you know, I, I'm, I'm putting I'm putting like 15k. You so saw I sell it for 15, as is, yeah. right? Steering wheel on it, wheels on it, everything just coming as is. Now, what would what would be your personal tag that you would put on it? Like to get my attention, like if somebody brought me like 18 cash, yeah, I, I'd consider. it. Okay, okay, okay. And this is a 37, right? Yeah. So wait, wait, what year? 2013? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So with it being a G37, why decide to go with this model out of all Infinities, G35 that you could have went with, could have went with any other model? Why decide to go with this one? Because I love the motors in these. Uh -huh. It's a um, VQ37 VHR. Uh -huh. It's like the best motor built by Infinity. Yeah. And they only come in the 370Zs and the G37s. Yeah. So I really wanted one with this motor. Uh -huh. And I have a wife and a son, so I needed four doors. Yeah. So I was like, G37. Right, okay, okay. Um, 
if there was a person trying to build a G37, what would you say? What would you say would be something that you didn't know, you know, while build, uh, while building this car that you would need to tell them? One thing that I wish I knew, like before I started building, yeah. was how much car modding really was. Yeah. Like nobody really like knows how much it is until yeah. you start buying the car parts. Yeah. And then it's like, like I said, being in a car scene and modifying a car is honestly really hard because it's like you find one part and then you see a better part and you're like, bro. I want that, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, exactly, bro. That's how it was with, I bought a steering wheel, and it had red stitching and yeah. a red line here. Yeah. And I was like, it's nice, but I want a better one. So right. I sold it and then bought this one. Yeah. Bro, I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so how do you feel about gatekeeping? Okay. Um, you know, people like to gatekeep parts or whatever, you know, oh, you need to go do your own research. Is that something that you agree with? Or it's like, bro, I don't care. You can ask me anything. Like, yeah, me personally, I love to share my parts because especially for this car, they don't make a lot of aftermarket parts. Yeah. So you got to do some digging and some fitting to make stuff, to make stuff fit. Yeah. And, um, so I love telling people like what I did to do something or yeah. where I got something from so yeah. they can do it to their car too. Okay, okay, okay. Coming into the car scene, maybe a certain group or whatever. Was there anybody that you looked up to in that matter? Yeah, there's this one guy. His name's Sebastian on TikTok. His name's Static Sam. Uh -huh. His car, he's always had like perfect camber. Yeah. And his car's always been super low. Yeah. So I love that about it. And um, it just it's what made me get into like lowering it to the camber. Okay, okay, okay. Um, now when it comes to you know another you know controversial question, when it comes down to it, how do you feel about? people building complete builds like building cars and then selling them selling them off to like people that basically well all they may do is like take their instagram sticker off and put their own instagram sticker on. How, how you feel about that like buying already built yeah one. yeah as long as you like you know claim that it's already built yeah it's chill but like if you go around you're like yeah i put this camber i put yeah. this bags i did this rad and then it's like well people who know you didn't do it so. right exactly exactly okay um, and then, well, with you being a part of the car scene, what would be one thing that you love and you hate about the car, being in the car scene? I love exhaust, modified exhaust. Okay. Like, I love to hear cars. Yeah. I just love to see And then, what would, what would you say would be one thing that you hate about it? Um, a bad modified exhaust. Okay, like, okay. When they're super rash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them lawnmowers. Yeah. Them all, and then, yeah, yeah, that's the Hondas, okay? Um, and then, most of the time, I got a Honda myself, but... When it comes down to it, um, how do you feel about reps? Um, fake I, parts, fake I, wheels. I've had reps before. My first pair of wheels was actually reps. It's the only pair of wheels I've ever bought. Yeah. Ever. And um, those are reps. God. Yeah. Thirty-six K is a hey, a little bit stiff. <laughs> diameter was like 70 millimeters and I can only go up to 20k. Bro, I was kind of I was kind of mad about it. So look, I'm gonna let down the window. You can hit, you can open it up when, when we uh when we turn. Yeah. Right, I'm trying to hear that that, that G37 power. Actually, wait until they put the camera out the window and then go ahead and do it. That's crazy. That that That's was crazy. um anti lag. That like pause. Right yeah. There. yeah, that was anti lag. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, when we get back on that street, I need. Nah, I, I want. Yeah, I want. I want a full. I want a full. Damn, bro. How much? How much you pushing to the wheel? Um, I don't know. I can't fit on a dyno. Dang, 
bro. Okay, so but when I originally got tuned, when it was stock, it was 293 to the wheels. And that was before the full bolt. Okay, okay, so you probably pushing probably 300 plus. Yeah, a little, probably like 315 if I had to say. Okay, okay, okay. All right, well, look, look, my last question to you. If, you, if anybody gave you an option to add anything to this car for absolutely free, one thing, what would you say would be that one thing that you would add to this car? For absolutely free? A professional paint job. Professional paint job. Yeah. Now, with it being a professional paint job, would you keep the same color and yeah. basically, okay. Yeah, like I want this color, but in paint. Okay, so do them in paint, and then what? While it's wet, throw the sparkle in there? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's, that's gonna be clean, that's gonna be clean. So look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna thank you, thank you for your time, okay? Thank you for giving us your, your opinion on the car scene. You know, yeah, uh, give us the information about your car. You have a sick color, sick car. Bro, the, the, the springs is crazy, spring right? Like I said, we're gonna fill up Swifts, okay? But yo, yeah, I'm Swiss not. Gonna be crazy, okay, hey, we're gonna see about that. But hey, look, I wanna thank you for this time. You wanna shout your Instagram out for everybody come wanting to go follow you? Uh, sure, my Instagram is at it's Memphis. It's I T S. Okay. Memphis. Okay. It's Memphis. So y'all please make sure y'all go follow him. Alright, with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, peace.